Welcome to our 25 days of Christmas home tours at Living It Country. Today we have Darla back from My Sweet Georgia Home. This is her third time sharing her beautiful home on our channel and I am so excited. This is the first time for Christmas, so you are gonna get so many new ideas. I absolutely adore her account. So without further ado, let's welcome Darla again and let me know in the comments your favorite part of her home and let's get started. Sweet Georgia Home on Instagram and I'm so excited to be back here on Holly's channel sharing with you this time my Christmas home. So sit back and relax and I hope you enjoy the tour. If you like what you see please come on over to visit me on Instagram at my sweet Georgia home. I would love to have you and with that being said let's get started. So today I'm going to start the tour here in our foyer it's really hard to get this photographed because we have a very tall two-story foyer with a very large 12-foot tree. <laughs> but if I stand back here in my husband's office, you can get a pretty good glimpse of the tree. So this is what I call my woodland tree. Um, I have a lot of really pretty little characters. My mom gave me these squirrels. I should say little creatures. <laughs> Lots of white and fluff. Um, I use the batting to um, just add kind of that snowy effect. And it's a really big tree, so that's a very economical way to flock the tree, <laughs> is just add the batting. mercury glass on this tree. I have a lot of frosted ornaments. But this is my favorite ornament on the whole entire tree. This is my little woodland Santa. I just think he's so sweet.
ending up here, we have my youngest daughter's advent calendar. And usually what we do is put little treats in each little pocket, but the size of the treats have gotten bigger as she's gotten older. <laughs> so uh, what I do now is I put everything in the little basket and she gets to choose a gift each day for countdown to Christmas. The tree is surrounded with pictures of her on Santa's lap. And we stopped that tradition <laughs> a couple years back. She's almost 16 now, but um, we got a few. And so I really enjoy having that every season. husband's office to give you a peek at our traditional tree. It's a working office so it's not decorated really for Christmas other than just this tree that we put in here. <laughs> so forgive the surroundings but here's our pretty tree that's in my husband's office and he's really enjoying having it in here. It's a nine-foot tree so it's pretty impressive in person and for a little office it really takes up the space but he really enjoys it we have a lot of our family ornaments on this tree and i just did a little bit of farm farmhouse type with the metal signs and lots of red bows and vintage looking ornaments and again with the batting just to add that kind of snowy effect I use this really pretty um, ribbon that has the writing on it. I really like that kind of ribbon. I think it's so cute. And um, my daughter made these really cute Ray Dunn inspired ornaments for me a few years ago. I really love those. And I love these metal signs that I found too. Just go really well with the theme. So we're going to head back out now, back through the foyer, and we will head into the family room. So yeah, this is my pink and red tree. And I found these cute little houses at Walmart. And I just thought they had a really vintagey look to them. And I love the little pink trees that I found there as well. My favorite thing on this tree that I found are these felt poinsettias oh, and I just I love them I got those at Hobby Lobby and I really love them so just here to the right of the tree is my little um, butler's pantry it's really where I store most of my dishes and a lot of my decor but I decided to put up my Santa collection in here this year. So they are resting comfortably up on this countertop and my little granddaughter will not be able to reach them. <laughs> Thank you. 
am really excited about my Christmas village this year. I just recently purchased this desk. It was a thrifted find and um, it was meant for my daughter to use down here, but she really doesn't use it that frequently. So I thought, perfect, I can put my Christmas village on these shelves and I just love the way it turned out and I can enjoy it every single night. I always wanted a Christmas village when I was little and none of my parents, grandparents were really into it. So um, as soon as I could, I thrifted myself this entire village. Um, you know, there's nothing collectible really or expensive about the houses that I have, but um, it's really special to me. And my grandkids love it too because they can, they, and they are welcome to play with the characters and move them around and just have that little fantasy, that little dream that you're in that snowy town with all those little cottages. And it's just so much fun. Up here you can see in the bay window, there's things going on in the house and Santa's in the square. And they flip the Christmas tree. I just really have a lot of fun <laughs> with it. And again, I love that I have it set up to where I can really see it and enjoy it this year. So that's my Christmas village. On my coffee table this year, I set up these little churches that I have. And I purchased this pink chapel from Whiteberry Lane. Mirabelle makes these, they're handmade. And then I have the other two churches. And I really love the way that turned out on my coffee table. It looks so sweet and dreamy. share an up close of this Santa with you. My mama made this porcelain Santa years ago for my mom and my mom was sweet enough to gift it to me and so now he is enjoying a very prominent spot right here by the fire but no worries far enough from the fire <laughs> but here by the fire and the tree and I just think he looks really precious there. I've got several signs from Olive Branch Farmhouse. Uh, Christy and I collabed on this sign and I just think it turned out so cute. She's super creative and I love the work that she does. So I have several of her signs in the house as well. And that's, again, that's at Olive Branch Farmhouse. So we'll head over to the dining space at the table. simple traditional table for the tour. Um, I have a little mix of these Royal Stafford plates that I got highly discounted at TJ Maxx and then just some of my Pioneer Women plates and the center is um, 
it's just a lamb's ear, a frosted lamb's ear garland with lots of candles. I have the mercury glass votives from Simply Styled Season and the little pine cone candles from Simply Styled Season and the runner is from there as well. It's just a little, I like the low profile um, center piece so that everyone can see each other and enjoy. So this year in my hutch, I decided to display my Johnson Brothers Friendly Village China. I have a small collection of it and we have used it in the past, but I get a little bit anxious about using it because there are some little chips and cracks here and there. So I think I just, I feel better displaying it and I love the way it fit into the hutch this year and with all the colors. I just think it looks really pretty, so I'm glad to have it displayed here. Up here, I've got another sign from Olive Branch Farmhouse. And the colors just all went so well together. I have a real mix of colors. <laughs> I've got a little red, a little pink. I just use what I have and I like it that way. I love the way it turned out this year. little hot cocoa bar for my grandkids um, it's really the hot cocoa bar topping bar <laughs> um, they would make their hot cocoa over in the kitchen on the coffee bar and then they can come over here and help themselves to sprinkles all kinds of toppings a few candies marshmallows stirrers all of those good things my granddaughter helped me decorate this this year and we had so much fun putting it all together and I really haven't changed it much from how she set it up. I was just, I thought she just did a wonderful job and I thought it looked so sweet. And so maybe a little, a little cluttered um, for some, but for us, we love it. I love these um, precious little miniature vintage look signs that I get from Sign and Salvage. At Signs and Salvage, I said that wrong. The little images are so sweet. I have a lot of them. The tree has hot cocoa ornaments, um, little nutcracker soldiers, <laughs> um, pictures of the grandkids, their initials, pictures of my children.
through the kitchen. Got all kinds of little Christmas touches in there. Stay put towels, they do not slide off. This is our coffee bar. Um, we just recently um, added the open shelving here and wallpapered the back. And so I'm really enjoying styling this for the different seasons. King's Crown candy dish and I get that out of the holidays and display it. We're actually storing our coffee pods in there right now. sign I purchased from Patricia over at Simply Styled Season. This garland is from Simply Styled Season as well. call our little mud nook and I always add just a little bit of Christmas back here it's just fun to have this to greet us when we come in and just a little bit of greenery some red ribbons some of my pioneer woman dishes um, really love these pioneer uh, woman dishes but they don't make this pattern anymore so they're on display and here in our little nook just a few things to add uh, some Christmas to the mudroom tray um, I set up every year with pictures of my children and grandchildren sitting on Santa's lap. Um, there's one of myself there on Santa's lap and there's also one of my mom on Santa's lap. <laughs> so it's really fun to have those mixed in with the grandkids. And when they come over, they enjoy looking at this as well. Got my 
candle going from my Cedar Hill Farm. Just recently purchased this cookie jar at Hobby Lobby and I love this big giant Santa. <laughs> This is an area that I set up for my grandkids that when they come over to visit, they can open up their little mailbox and there will be a treat for them inside leading up to Christmas. They don't come over every day, but when they do come over, I'll have a little something in there in the mailboxes for them. And our little elf snowflake keeps watch. Christmas tour. I will walk you through slowly one more time just to give you a little overview. I hope you got some inspiration and I hope that your decorating and planning for Christmas is going well. If you have any questions about any of the things that you see, feel free to message me at my Sweet Georgia home. I will answer. enjoyed the tour and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas everyone. I hope you all enjoyed Darla's Christmas home tour today and I hope it brought you lots of inspiration for this year and maybe even next year. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you in our next video. Bye!